Hi, everyone. Welcome to History on Trial. This is Dr. Tracy McCarthy. We're going to be talking about an unusual connection between the Dogon and Russia. Uh, previously, we discussed some of the surname connections between tribal groups or ethnic groups that are on the continent of Africa and the relationship between some of those ethnic group names and actual surnames that are in Western uh, parts of Europe. But in this particular case, we find that this name Dogon is not only related to an Irish origin, it is also connected to those coming out of Russia. And the way that this was noted was in identifying individuals through immigration records and some more ancient records related to the United States. And so we're going to see that the surname Dogon is not only related to those who you would uh, typically think would be associated with this name, but also associated with individuals who are identified as Russian. And perhaps some of you might have some insights about how this may have come about. Before going forward, let's look at these Dogon masks. What's interesting about these masks is that you have two phenotypes depicted in these masks. Uh, so if you look at the one on the left-hand side and you look at the one on the right-hand side, you see very distinct phenotype features. And these distinctions do appear to go with certain ethnic groups. And so that is something to make note of. Here we have Encyclopedia Britannica indicating that the Dogon are an ethnic group in the central plateau region of Mali and that this spreads across the border into Burkina Faso. Now what's also interesting is that the Dogon go along with the uh, Mali people and also that Mandi dynamic that you also see in India. So if you remember our discussions about India, you see Ghana, you see Mali, and you see Mandi. Uh, in India. Now let's make note of the fact that the Dogon name is a surname with origins in Ireland. And so this is considered an ancient Gaelic name. And this name, this family line, again, when you're talking about these family names, you're talking about races of people. The family name is the race. And so you can see here that the first portion of this name of Dogon is related to the meaning of black. Okay, and so you also see that the family line is directly traceable to Fergus Moore, and that means Fergus the Great. And so Moore with that M-O-R often means great. It means a number of things, but in this particular instance, it means great. What's interesting, however, is that this Dogon last name is also coming out of Russia. And you can see that the only transliteration for this particular surname is coming out of the Russian language. And here you can see a presence of this surname Dogon appearing in the United States. And these are records from the Roman Catholic Diocese of Springfield. And these are records from 1853 through 1975. And this is for John Dogon. And this is when we start to see those very specific links to Russia with specific individuals. So you see here an Isidore Dogon. This is a record from 1905. These are U.S. naturalization records. And you can see that this individual is coming out of Russia. And here we have a New York passenger and crew list. And this one is for Andro Dogon. These are naturalization records for Oklahoma, and this is from 1889 through 1991, and this one is for Samuel Dogon. This record indicates a person named Jesse Dogon in the state of South Carolina, this is in 1944, uh, was identified as Negro in terms of race and with the surname Dogon. So it is noted that you have a little bit of variety, diversity going on here in terms of this family uh, known as Dogon. So you have Dogon coming out of Africa. You have Dogon in America identified as Negro. You have Dogon coming out of Russia. And then you have the surname Dogon with origins in Ireland. And here you have a record for Jacob Michael Dogon 
uh, Oklahoma naturalization records again, and this is a declaration of intention. And this individual is identified as color being white and then the complexion being dark and then the individual identified as being born in Russia. Here we have an additional declaration of intention. This individual, again, is identified as being white. Uh, this person has a light complexion this time with black hair and gray eyes. This individual was born again in Russia, and this is Solomon Dogon. And this is identified as a Jewish burial record for a wolf Dogon. And this individual's birth date was 1928. And this burial place is South Africa. Here we have an additional person with the surname Dogon, uh, again, coming out of Russia. This individual is Max Dogon. And this uh, birth record is from 1883 with a death record, obituary record of 1975. Here we have another individual with the surname Dogon. This is Harry Dogon. This particular individual is identified racially as white. Finally, we have a record for an Andrew Dogon, Dagon, identified racially as white with gray colored eyes. Uh, this record is coming out of 1875. This is very interesting as we pull this all together because we see here that this Dogon identity is highly diverse. And what's interesting is that there seems to be a heavy origin uh, related to Russia. And so it would be interesting to get more information about how the Dogon, this family name, this family lineage, made it somehow from Russia and Ireland into the uh, Western portion of Africa. Uh, what is the connection? What is the understanding that the people have of this connection? Because Fergus Moore is a very important figure in terms of Irish history. And then you have all of these individuals with this surname coming out of Russia. And then the Dogon are known for having uh, an atypical understanding of uh, some scientific issues. And so it would be very interesting to find out what this connection is all about and what the uh, histories are that the different groups of people are telling themselves about their origin and about their potential connections, if there is any story at all. And so it would be very helpful to find out uh, what the Dogon in Africa understand as their relationship with the Dogon of Russia and the Dogon of Ireland and then the Dogon who are currently in the United States and perhaps in many other places. As we move into greater historical clarity, remember that knowledge is power. Take care and see you soon.